Good evening and welcome to the final event in the Holidays and Historic Frederick series, the Festival of Lights. Before we begin, I'd like to introduce the individuals and groups who have joined together to make tonight's program so special. City of Frederick Mayor Michael O'Connor, the Frederick Children's Chorus, who will be leading our caroling and performing this evening, Jim Ratchiff for sharing the inspirational message, the City of Frederick and the Holidays and Historic Frederick Committee of Celebrate Frederick. It's my pleasure to introduce Mayor Michael O'Connor, who will give us a little background on how this festival came to be. Good evening and thank you for being here on behalf of the City of Frederick. I want to say welcome and I wish you all a joyous and peaceful holiday season surrounded by the people and the things that can bring you comfort and contentment. I want to give a thank you to everyone who's involved in organizing these wonderful holiday events for Frederick. It is one of the things that makes being here, living here, leading here such a special thing. And it's all of you who attend, it's everyone who volunteers, and a special thanks to our City of Frederick employees who participate very often on the backsides, our Department of Public Works and our Police Department who are involved in all of these Celebrate Frederick events and making sure that it goes off with all of the just logistical pieces in place to make it successful. So thank you to everyone who makes this possible. Now some might wonder how this Festival of Lights came to be. This community gathering here in the courtyard at City Hall began more than 30 years ago by Julia Hanna, who was concerned that the world was losing sight of the real meaning of Christmas. She encouraged area residents to display single white candles in their windows to bring back the feeling of an old-fashioned Christmas and to focus on the warmth and the fellowship of the season. She encouraged community togetherness and the Candlelight Festival was begun. Since that time, this tradition has evolved into this ecumenical gathering. When it began, there were only about 20 people standing here in the courtyard, but over the years, those numbers have grown, and tonight, your presence and this response is inspirational. So once again, I say thank you. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season and a prosperous and happy 2023. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor O'Connor. It is now my honor to introduce Jim Ratchiff, our inspirational speaker for this evening. Jim is a lifelong resident of Frederick County. Professionally, he serves as president at DMS, a Frederick-based business, which provides applied information science services to the biomedical research and public health sectors. Away from work, Jim's leadership and expertise has been tapped to lead local and regional public policy efforts, including the county's strategic comprehensive planning process. Jim currently chairs the City of Frederick Zoning Board of Appeals and the Student Homelessness Initiative Partnership Board of Directors. He and his wife, Tracy, make their home in the city of Frederick with their two children. Please join me in welcoming Jim. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Uh-oh. Already we're having trouble. We'll be all right. For a uh, few years, I actually had the privilege to act as the master of ceremonies for this event, but uh, as you see, it's been passed on to far more competent hands uh, than mine, so thank you, Melissa. Um, and I'm honored to be, have been asked to give a few remarks um, tonight about uh, this place that we call our home. It does my heart really good to see um, so many people gathered tonight. I know that for the last few years, uh, we've all been nestled inside our homes uh, and not necessarily by our own uh, decisions. And it's wonderful to be able to return to in-person gatherings like these. Uh, but I'd like to share a brief story with you uh, that helps show why I feel that Frederick is such a special place. As Melissa mentioned, I'm fortunate enough that I've been able to volunteer with some of our local nonprofits over the years. And honestly, when the pandemic emerged, uh, the entire nonprofit community was concerned. Not only was it likely that our friends and neighbors would be in need of greater support, 
but between diverting funds towards emergency health measures, folks losing their jobs, economic disruption, inflationary pressures, uh, we all started to prepare for donation levels to fall and requests for help to increase. And it's understandably so. Businesses, households, everybody was under tremendous stress, uh, and people would need to take care of their own. But instead, something different happened. We heard from longtime donors who actually wanted to give more. We heard from people that were struggling themselves but wanted to do something extra to help those that had less. We saw donations and volunteerism and generosity increase despite all the challenges that we happen to face individually. And really, that's what makes sense. That's what a family does. And sure, we might have our spats and our fair share of wacky uncles in our Frederick family. Um, I even hear there's some guy walking around tonight that claims he's the mayor. <laughs> but when the chips are down, families come together and we take care of each other. One of my favorite authors, Ursula Le Guin, has a quote in one of her novels that says, to be whole is to be part. And really the way that I take that is for us to be complete, we need to be together with those that are matter and are important to us. We have to come together. And so tonight, I actually get one of my holiday wishes a little bit early, and that's to thank all of you for letting me be part of this great Frederick family. Thank you all. Thank you, Jim. And now, please welcome the Frederick Children's Chorus, led by Judy DeBose, who will be performing Suvivan and White Christmas. A little Hanukkah song about uh, the, the the dreidel spinning and the uh, each time we said sof 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 that was spin 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 
and it uh, just shared the joy and the, um, the fun that comes from playing that little Hanukkah game that um, is very common uh, at this time of year. The, the next piece that we're going to sing is White Christmas. And as you may or may not know, it was composed by uh, uh, Irving Berlin when he was in California writing music for a movie. And he was longing for the white Christmas because clearly he was looking out the window at palm trees and it was 84 degrees and the ocean was right there out the window. So um, the, the whole idea of I'm dreaming of a white Christmas comes from that uh, situation that he, was, that he found himself in. And it wasn't to be used in that movie or even any other movie. And then it was such a good song that they, f they created a movie and put the song in the movie. I think they even made a movie called White Christmas, but it went in a different movie. It's complicated. All right, let's see. We need Sing along, but sing along. Ready? And now. Ah. singing along with us. Wasn't that fun? Yeah. Thank you for those lovely performances. We are very fortunate to have such beautiful voices here in Frederick. I'd now like to invite everyone to join the chorus as we sing some classic holiday carols together. This is a sing-along, so please refer to the lyrics in your program. Oh, this is your starting note. Ah, and we start with dashing. Yes? Here we go. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtail ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is. And then we have, we wish you a Merry Christmas. And as my children reminded me, after we sing, uh, bring us some figgy pudding right now, 
Don't forget, we all love figgy pudding. Ready? We, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. my favorite part this is this is why we come every every year to to do this next little bit so um, master of ceremony <laughs> Thank you. Please remain standing as I invite Mayor O'Connor to light tonight's first candle. Please share your flame with those around you after your candle is lit and join us in singing Silent Night. of Celebrate Frederick, thank you for attending this year's Festival of Lights. Please join me in a final thank you to everyone who helped make this event possible with a round of applause. We truly live in a very special place and I hope everyone here feels that this holiday season. Have a lovely evening and a wonderful holiday.